Hello everyone, I'm Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for as Manchu. And our corruption is finally going down. Slowly. Anyway, we're conquering Chagatai. Also, slowly. I guess one of these guys could help. Oh shit. Okay, so Ming should help me. Why did Ming not help me? I was attacked. Seems like I was mistaken. Seems like I was completely mistaken regarding uh, the issue, mm, regarding the nature of our relationship. I thought they. Oh crap! Well, apparently I was wrong, but I thought they would join us automatically. So did you cancel our tributary uh, relationship just now? No? So why are you not helping me? I was sure they would help us. Now this is a coalition war, so let's wait a month and see if Ming joins. If Ming doesn't join, I have to just surrender, because I can't fight the Ottomans and others. This is a pity. I really thought they would help me. Well, Ming, you suck, and I was wrong about you. So, Ottomans, what do you want? You would like me to release some nations. How about I release Kazakh and reconquer them soon? No. Korea. Oh, that's a bit much, isn't it? Um, I guess I could cancel the coring of these areas here and release Gazikumuk. Would you like me to do so? Gazikumuk, where's that? I still haven't... Uh, I still haven't caught these provinces. About the Great Horde. I think I have called Astrakhan, although I'm not sure. Let's see. No, I have not. Hmm. I guess I could do that. Hmm. Who else could I release? Oh, you know, I could just release someone within my territory and then reconquer them easily. Hmm. Like Buryatia again. Have I caught Buryatia? I have not caught Buryatia. I could release Buryatia again. It's a pity that we have to do this. I thought Ming would protect me. I was wrong, apparently. Apparently I was wrong about the tributary relationship. We'll have to be more cautious. For about Russia and the Ottomans. Okay, so... Um, where's Buryatia? Just sort you by name. Yeah, that would do it. I mean, these are good provinces, but they're not caught yet, so at least I wouldn't lose points. Who else could I get out of here? Circassia? don't really need those in this area. If it gets me further from the Ottomans, by all means. Great Horde. Who has their cores here? Astrakhan. So I could release Astrakhan and the Great Horde. And these are my cores already. Well, not all of them. And the Nogai. The Nogai would mean taking these as well. On the other hand, I could just release someone here. Um, right, let's uh, let's think about this. Because I can't, I can't possibly win this war. I can't possibly win this war without Ming helping me. And Ming apparently has no interest in helping me because they're dicks. Or we were dicks to them, whatever. So, I was mistaken about being protected by Ming. What do you want? 92 war score. What does it do? We'll give core to Delhi, release Mongyang, Bhutan, Kiva, Astrakhan, and... Well, the important thing is the amount of war score that we need. 92. I'm going to give up. And... Uh, 
countries or provinces that I can afford. Let's see what has the highest war score. That's a bit much. Well, how about Yarkand? That could easily be reconquered in a single war. Probably. Hmm. Not sure. I guess that could work. And Buryatia, for example. That's 83. And... What's this? Arakan. Yeah, I guess that could work. That's exactly 92, and I can easily retake them. Although, it's quite likely that they will ally someone. But these are not important bits of territory. This is not the center of trade or anything. Alternatively, let's have a look again. What if I forget Yarkand? Because these are four cores, so it would be a pity to lose them. But Oirat instead. Yeah, that could, that could work. Although that would separate my territory, which would be very inconvenient. Then no. Yeah, I think releasing this area will be the wiser choice. Because we don't really need to be there. And that would uh, separate us from uh, the Ottomans. So. Mm, Astrakhan. 22. Gazi Kumuk. Uh, Circassia. 67. That gives up all of this territory. How about no guy? Yeah, that's a lot of territory to lose. Hmm. I'm not sure about no guy. The rest I can give up. I haven't called them yet. I can just cancel the cores and that won't be much space. Same with, same with Buryatia. It's, they're not crucial to me in any way. Mm, but I still need more. And you probably won't accept gold, will you? Nope. So what else could I do? Sibir? I could do Sibir, but it's very likely that Russia would take them over very quickly. So something that is not bordering them would be more welcome. Maybe let's hold by Warscore now. Hmm. Not Bashkiria. No. Nothing in close to India, because I don't want to reacquire any aggressive expansion there. No guy. No guy would be fun. Tibu mm. hmm. That could be acceptable. Just three provinces. Maybe. Kiva. Wait a minute, is Kiva dead? Who took Kiva over? Oh, oh I, I mistook Kiva and Corson for each other. Hmm, how about Mongolia? No, I'm not giving this up. We have changed the culture there. Then again, the culture will stay what we made it. So what if I cancel Buryatia and release Mongolia instead? No, that would cut us off from our territory. Yeah, Buryatia is a good choice. Utsang? No. Come. This could work. Just 91, but... Yeah. Yeah, that would only be adjacent to us and Ming. They would probably accept Ming over Lordship. And then we wouldn't have too much trouble. Yeah, I think that'll work. But we need to cancel the cores. To regain admin power. It's unfortunate that I have to do this, but I cannot win a coalition war against the Ottomans. I was mistaken in believing that Ming would be obligated to help me, as though I was their vassal. This is why I enjoyed the tributary relationship so much. Well, apparently I was mistaken. Um, right, let's cancel the Buryatian cores as well. Well, actually, since I'm doing that, I could raise the province still. No, that would decrease the cost. Also, I this is a gold province, and I'm going to reconquer it, so I want it to be good. Release Buryatia, this little bit, and the three guys here, and we are retreating from this area. We are leaving this alone for now. We lost quite a lot of prestige because of that. 
But that's fine. You guys need to retreat from here. Yeah, we'll consolidate our power in this region. We don't need to invade Russia or the Ottomans. Also, it's impossible for us to win against them. Oh. Okay, our guys are black flat, so they will not be bothered by those rebels. Now, we were supposed to be dealing with Chagatai. So let's get that doing. And you guys, yes, you became a tributary of Ming. And you probably will become a tributary of Ming as well. We'll just reconquer them when the truces are over. And we have retreated from the Ottomans. I guess I don't need to chase you down. Let's split you in half. Half of you goes here, half of you goes here. And the others are returning. Now, who I can attack without trouble is the Timurids. And the guys down here. That will not give me a great coalition. So I'm just going to leave Europe alone and end our country here. It is a great pity that Russia refused to be our friend. We could have used them against the Ottomans. But hey, if they don't want to be friends, we might argue. Right, so our next conquest will be over here. I think I'll take over Diviet. So let's move our troops this way. We should be safe from coalitions for a while, since we have reduced our aggressive expansion significantly. Diplomatic insult. Oh, improve relations with everyone. Yes, please. Ming, do you still hate me? Kind of. Not completely, though. Um, right, I have to go back to the diploma um, to the macro builder. And who are you? Let's cancel this guy. Add one to the outrage countries and add one to the subject countries. And when our diplo rep is back up, we can annex someone. Now, are we still overextended? Okay, we kept the Orda province. That's fine. We went in, we raised, and we retreated. Establish penal colony in Tondo. Yeah. And exploration has been completed. Um, right. It's a pity we had to give up we had to give up that war, but that was the only sensible course of action. And we'll retake Cam and Buryatia. And hopefully keep Ottomans friendly towards us. Hopefully they will not choose us as a rival. Russia has chosen us as a rival. Which can become a big problem for us. Actually, can I pick someone as a rival? Well, we're at war still. I forgot. Well, this war is not going to take a long time. Actually... You guys should probably go after the troops that are... Didn't work. Alright, worked. You should probably go after these troops. And you can help them. Oh, cool. Natives assimilating. How is my colonialism? Growing. We're not ready to adopt it, but it is growing quite quickly. And from this side as well. And here. Yay! Uh, Treaty of Tordesillas for colonial Mexico. Well, we're not Christians, so it doesn't really affect us. Let's leave one more cavalry unit here. You guys can leave the area. Ming adventurers. We get a skill level 3 trader. Don't really care for a trader right now. Hmm. Of course, we're losing money, but it's not too bad. And I could get the next level of technology, but I'm really hoping to embrace colonialism before I do. Right. Where's the army that I sent up here? Here you are. I can convert some guys. Mm, do we care to? It's a lot of money and a long time. Let's not. Over a hundred months is almost never worth it. 
be a little bit here you go chasing their army down Buryatia likes me for some reason oh right we eased the tensions of course and yes you're a tributary of Ming siege of Urumki is over now I'm not sure we'll ever be able to beat Ming they're superior in technology, they're superior in their economy, they're just superior. I mean, when I take over all of India, for example, and this and this and this, then I probably will be able to take them over, but that might take another 100 or 200 years. Hmm. Conquer Kathmandu, or rival of our rival, this is Pasai. Pasai, do you want to be friends? You do. Let's take the mission to be friends with Pasai. For extra diplo power. Right. You guys are kind of ready, but um, probably adjust this a bit so we don't suffer attrition. And we should. Where's the army? Oh, it's dead. No, it's here. You're going somewhere in this direction. For some reason. Now you join this. We'll soon be ready to take over all of Chagatai. We won't get a lot of aggressive expansion because they're inside our territory. This is a good thing about conquering countries up here. Okay, Chagatai. I need a diplomat back. I'll take this one. That's a long time. That this will take. There's no use. No, we still need to chase them down because when we next them, they will become rebels. Oh, and I can't annex you if they take over a province. Oh, crap. Loans. Let's do this and repay the loans. Yeah, corruption is not such a big deal. Also, it is decreasing. Because we're combating it fiercely. Exploration finished. Let's go on. Explore here. Where's that army of mine? Just kill them. Oh, uh, these guys are ready. Yes, I want to take over everything, please. Also, I will raise your stuff and... Take all your money. Thank you. Okay, so let's have a look. This is raisable. And so is this. Mm, but not everything. Certainly not everything. Wait a minute. So I'm recording this. Must have clicked the wrong button. And here we go. And that's it, I believe. Okay, let's call everything. <laughs> They're all three development because I've raised them so many times. by fort. Now we need the guys down south. We need you guys to finish off the rebels. They're going down here. Oh, come on. Right, finally. Okay. Now it's time to conquer everyone down here. Allies with Ayutthaya. Ah, oh, shit. I guess I would gladly fight Ayutthaya again, but uh, 76. I'm not sure I want to fight them again in the situation in which they are not co-belligerent. Daiviet, Sveni and Champa. I could attack these guys, Ayutthaya would join, and they wouldn't have any allies, and I could 
beat them up again. Maybe that is a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Although I could just as well finish off Timurids. This army is in the area. Why not finish off Timurids? Let's finish off the Timurids. Actually, I can do both simultaneously, probably. Admin tech. Not yet. Ward institutions. Embracing would cost us how much? All the gold. Over a thousand gold. Now, I wonder if I don't embrace Renaissance, but I embrace colonialism, what my, what my penalties would be. Also, I think it's time to take over the... Oh, we still have a truce. Seriously. Ah, 68. So this is the uh, the truce of his um, ending. Which is... Just great. Just wait for this truce to be over and then we kill them. This conquistador is doing nothing. Poor vintage. Maybe I should move him elsewhere, like... Um, I don't know, here? Can I move you here? Yeah, search for the seven cities of gold there. That would be better. Can I just shift click? Do that and then start exploring. Yeah. So, uh, Timurids, yeah. Are oh, you the best general that I have? Mm, no, you're not. Let's take the best general that we have. August. Kamchadals are vassal, want a royal marriage. Speaking of which, um, what's my double rep? It's shit. Truce has ended. Goodbye, Timurids. Oh, I can't catch you? I need to catch you. Perfect. And they're wiped. Go here, go here, it's done. And let's have a look at the coalition. Yeah, no coalition. Well, Ayutthaya could join one, but we are in a truce. Okay, I guess I should recombine you guys properly. Why are you allied with Ayutthaya? Because you fear me. Which would kind of make sense, actually. Okay, let's get four armies. One of you stays, one of you goes down here. Two of you go down there. Okay. Conversions? No. Why can't I do it? It's a colony. Technology? Not just yet. I will do it, though. And I will do it to Tengri places. Which I will later turn. So that they can provide us with banners. And all that. Okay, um, Timurids are pretty much done for. So I could just detach a siege. Is this a fort? This is not a fort. Let's detach a siege and move on. Okay, also it's time to end the episode now, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.